Okay, so um, this is a presentation about PSI, International Student Health Insurance um, for MTU, Michigan Tech uh, International students uh, in collaboration with the, uh, the GSG. Um, my name is Chris Wacker and um, I've been uh, a manager at PSI for uh, a little over eight years. So um, if you have any questions about our plans or services, uh, I'm the one to ask. Our customer service is very good too. Um, but I, yeah, I, I know everything pretty well. Uh, I've been around for a while. Um, so this presentation is, um, uh, well, there's a couple parts. Uh, I, I thought I'd just jump into the main part though right away, which is our website because everything happens on the website. Um, so you maybe, hey, let me move the, this here to the left or down here. Uh, maybe you can see that, um, yeah, our, our website is psiservice.com and then uh, for MTU, it's forward slash MTU. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter if you go to that direct link because if you land on our homepage, you will, um, there's a search button and you just type your school and, and you'll end up on this page. So this is the landing page for MTU students. Um, I have a couple, a couple um, boxes here that draw your attention to some things that are most important, I think. Uh, first of all, these, these two boxes here uh, are for getting quotes. So how much is your health, health insurance going to be? And there's two factors to that. Uh, at, well, there's three factors, but here the, the two factors are, you got to set your age. Uh, so our, our premiums are um, calculated according to age age 24 and under, age 25 to 29, and age 30 and older. Um, so th that's why you have to move that blue ball to your age. Um, you can see on the sort of middle of the screen to the left. Uh, and then the other part here is you need to click which box of coverage you want. And um, uh, so here, uh, the default is annual, but you can, um, you can click any of these uh, coverage periods and the premiums will adjust automatically. Um, in a later slide, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what happens when, when um, the user clicks that 30 day rate box, which is on the far right, you can see that. Um, so anyways, this is, it's really easy to get a quote. Um, you don't even, you just have to land on this landing page and, uh, and you move the blue ball and you choose your, uh, the coverage dates and then you can see that the, the other factor is which plan you want and you can see the prices for all the plans below um so a couple other things um about the landing page uh if you have questions um you know try to use this link on the right so ask questions using this li link so we can post answers for all mtu students so i have four posted there that i've seen um multiple students uh, ask about so Anyways, uh, if you go in there, you can see uh, frequently asked questions and answers, but also you can type a question that you have, and then we aggregate them. And uh, if, if lots of MTU students are asking that question, then we'll post that the answer there. So please uh, consider using that if you do have questions. Um, another thing that's important here is the, uh, the provider network. Uh, so on the, the, the uh, brown box below, search the network. Um, so the plans we have uh, for MTU students are you using United Healthcare, um, and if you want to check to see if a particular doctor that you like is in the network before you buy the plan, then you can just click on that link and um, and it'll ask you your zip code, and then you can search for the doctor. Um, I'll show you more about that later. Uh, and then the last part here are, are uh, just a couple of things. There, there's two plans that, that, so we have five plans showing for MTU students, uh, which is quite a lot. But um, anyways, here, here are the other two plans. And you can see that the 30 day rate box on the right is, is, is clicked, it's red. And, um, and you'll see the premiums, they're, they're, they adjust. Um, so basically, yeah, those, that's just kind of, um, an introduction to uh, to PSI. Uh, I'm going to cover a bunch of other things. So, um, first of all, uh, key terms. Uh, so I get asked about this quite a bit. Uh, at the bottom of our website, there's a, a link. Um, it's uh, it's called definitions, and I'm not going to go into 
into this link now, but you can find it on the bottom of, our, of the PSI website. Um, th there's three terms that I, I will mention though, um, because these are probably the ones that people, um, well, th these are, these are um, things that the student is responsible for paying even when they have a health insurance plan. So there's the copay. A copay is how much you pay to uh, the doctor um, the, on the day of the visit. Uh, so most of our plans, it's a, it's a $25 copay. That, that's just, that, that's not even really involved in the, ins the insurance. I mean, um, so it's $25. Um, if you go to the hospi hospital um, and you go to the emergency room, then uh, the, the copay is, is usually higher. Um, not always, but it's usually about 150, 200. It can be, depends on the plan. Um, so a copay is, is the one, these are all cost sharing. So there's copay. And then there's deductible and coinsurance. Deductible and coinsurance, um, these are things that the student has to pay also. Uh, again, it depends on the plan. Uh, different plans have different deductibles and coinsurance. Uh, the deductible, you don't pay these on the day of the visit. They are ca they are calculated in the claims department. And um, and anyways, I, I have um, I have a sample claim that I'm going to show you later. So you you'll be able to see how these these three again cost sharing uh, things work. Okay, there's copay, deductible, and the coinsurance. Anyways, more on that later. Um, vision and dental. Our plans do not have uh, vision and dental. Um, so that's uh, that's something to consider. Um, uh, if you do have a problem with your eye, like a medical problem with your eye, then of course it's covered, but not for um, not for getting some prescription glasses. Um, and and dental is not covered either. Um, fortunately, you'll you you. I mean, it depends, but you'll find that getting dental care without insurance in the U.S. is is not such a challenge um, because dental insurance. Um, is is not nearly as as like necessary as as health insurance. Um, so if you don't have dental insurance, you you can find deals around town and and uh, you can you can get treatment for and and it's not going to uh, be way 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 too expensive like like is the case with medical care. Anyways, vision dental uh, is not covered. Um, I have another slide and then. I'm not going to talk about these too much now because I have slides on them. Um, so what what do you do when you need medical attention? Um, I'm going to talk about billing and claims uh, a little bit. I have a couple slides on that. Um, plan highlights. So we have those five plans. So I'm going to talk about the plan highlights a little bit. Um, there's quite a lot in, uh, of details about each of these plans. So it's mostly going to be just uh, as it says highlights. Um, I, I did some searches uh, for healthcare providers in, in, in Houghton. So um, I'm gonna show you some of that. And then I got a couple questions, uh, frequently asked questions that I'm gonna uh, go over. And then um, a question answer probably, yeah, well, we might have some of that. Uh, we don't have so many people um, live uh, for this, uh, this presentation. So, um, Anyways, uh, Q and A probably is not going to be so uh, extensive. Okay, so on the first part, there's um, the, the first slide. Uh, you need medical attention. So what do you do? Well, um, okay. First of all, if it's a real emergency, here's just some examples: chest pain, difficulty breathing, head trauma, of course, severe bleeding, uh, loss of vision. Then, for sure, go to the hospital. Um, and when you go to the hospital, you go to what's called the ER, the emergency room. So um, that's the first thing to, to remember. Uh, but in um, in the U.S., in most cases, you don't go to the hospital if your health if if your if your um, if your health situation is not so urgent. Um, so uh, you know if you're not if it's not a an emergency, then uh, you make a doctor's appointment. Uh, so you check your provider network. Um, and you pick a, you can pick a primary care physician. These are general doctors who sort of know a little bit about everything. Um, sometimes they're also called family doctors. There's no difference between primary care and family doctor. Um, or you can see a specialist. Uh, with, with our plans, actually, you can go uh, directly to see a specialist. You do not need to get a referral from a, a primary care physician first. So you can go on there and you can look for uh, uh, a, a dermatologist and you can um, 
you can set up an appointment directly with the with the dermatologist, um, you know, gynecologist, um, orthopedic uh, specialist. Um, th these, these are the specialists. Um, and another thing I'll, I'll mention here is um, the copay for a primary care phys physician and a specialist physician with all their plans is the same, which is kind of special because a, a lot of uh, health insurance, um, you have to pay more copay when you go to a specialist, but that is not true with our plans. It's the same. Um, okay, so next, uh, billing and claims. Um, so there's quite a lot of information here. Um, so basically, you want to try to go to an in-network uh, provider. The United Healthcare Network is, is very strong in your area, so it shouldn't be a problem going to an in-network doctor. Um, so basically, it works like this. You, you, uh, you will go, and the receptionist at the doctor's office is generally going to ask for your copay. Um, and then after that, you see the doctor and you're, you're done. Um, but there are more bills um, and the bills go basically directly to the insurance claims department. Um, and so moving on down number two, uh, at the claims department, um, the adjuster or the agent is gonna assess your deductible. Uh, is there coinsurance? Um, you know, are there exclusions that make it so that the, the treatment is not covered? Okay, and um, so once this assessment is done, then the claims department pays the the, the doctor's office or, or the hospital, pays the provider accordingly. Um, and then the provider will bill the student for for whatever, you know, whatever, it's not necessarily the balance because there's there's contracts that say how much they can, they will charge the student. Um, but anyways, um, so if, if you have a, if you have like, a big hospital bill, um, it's going to go to the, our claims department, claims going to process it, pay the, um, the provider, and then, and then the student will get a bill uh, for whatever was not paid for by the insurance um, uh, from the hospital. So there's no more, so the insurance is not really part of that, that part. Anyways, that's, that's kind of the process. Uh, I think it's, I, I made it sound more complicated than it is. If you need to see an out of network doctor, uh, that's also okay. The, um, the, the, the coverage, it, it, basically it, there's not a contract with that doctor. Um, so they can, basically they can charge more because they don't, they, they don't have agreed prices for, uh, for the services. Um, but all of our plans do, do have coverage for, for out of network doctors. So if you have, I mean, tip, the only really reason, the only real reason that you might need to, to use out of network is maybe a, a, like a mental health uh, therapist who a lot of times they, they, they don't, they don't get in networks uh, for one reason or another. Um, but there is out of network uh, coverage in, in all, all our plans. Uh, now, quickly, uh, billing on, on prescriptions. So we have uh, the five plans up there, uh, three of them, Jade, Ruby, and Gold, Gold Plus. They cover 70, 80% of prescriptions. Um, and uh, most, uh, most uh, national chains of, uh, of pharmacies are, are in, in the network. So CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, uh, Costco, um, I mean, all the big ones, Target. Um, so anyways, these three plans for your prescriptions are reimbursed. So you, you pay out of pocket and then you, um, you can do a claim online and you send it in and uh, you should get a check back in about two to three weeks. Um, now the other two plans, the more high-end plans, platinum plan and presidential plan, uh, these are not reimbursed. You know, you just pay a copay. Um, depends on the type of prescription. If it's like a generic, it's it's going to be twenty dollars. You pay twenty dollars, and the insurance is going to pay the rest. Uh, if it's a if it's if it's a brand name um, uh, prescription, then you're going to pay that fuller copay, and uh, and then the insurance pays the rest. And sixty is for specialty drugs. Uh, Again, um, it, it, and that's, it's convenient because you don't have to file the claim. Um, okay, and um, just a couple notes about billing and claims. Uh, in the US, it's, you know, the, the, health, the healthcare is a, is a private, mostly a, a private uh, enterprise. Uh, it, and so they don't, they don't necessarily, there's no law that says they need to tell you how much your, your treatment is gonna be. Um, and yeah, anyways, uh, one solution to that is you can always ask for an estimate. So before you, like if you go to the doctor's office, uh, a lot of times you don't know exactly how much 
your visit's going to be until after the fact. It's a little bit unusual, but you can you're it's it's not necessarily the norm, but uh, we recommend it. I mean, ask for an estimate before you you get treatment, um, and and they will give you one. Um, and then the other thing is in the U.S. Uh, sometimes there's there's some hangups on on claims. So if if a claim is not getting paid. Um, you know, check into it. So you can ask us, uh, you can ask uh, the, the provider, you know, if everything's okay. Uh, but if there are any hangups, it's better to, to ask about it than just, you know, hope it takes care of itself. Um, anyways, that, that's just a couple, um, couple things about billing and claims. Um, now I do have this sample claim. Um, I hope it's not gonna be too complicated, but uh, so I've actually done this for three of our plans, the PSI Gold uh, Plus plan, um, and then the next slide, I think is Jade plan, and then I have a presidential plan. So here's, here's the sample. Um, so you, you, you have some procedure done at the hospital. Um, the, it costs $1,000. Um, so you, you might have to pay a, a copay if you are, um, uh, actually, you know, I don't think there is a copay. Well, there, the doctor, Maybe if you see the doctor, there could be a copay, but for surgery, um, there's no copay. Um, anyways, uh, so you, you'd pay the copay if there is one. Okay, that's number one. Uh, but okay, the bill's $1,000. The hospital sends this bill to the claims, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, the insurance company uh, you know, has a network of, of hospitals and doctors, and typically the, um, the rates that the uh, that the insurance company negotiates with all the providers, it's like 50% of, of uh, what would be billed to, to a student if you didn't have insurance. So in this example, the $1,000 bill um, is now a $500 bill. Um, the Gold Plus plan has a $150 deductible. So um, this is gonna be the responsibility of the student. Anyways, the new bill, uh, when you remove the deductible is 350, okay? Um, and then the Gold Plus plan has a 80%, 20, 80%, 20% 20 co-insurance. So the insurance pays 80% and the student pays 20%. Um, so 80% of this 350 is 290, okay? Um, and so uh, basically the, the insurance is gonna pay this amount, the 290 um, to the hospital and the insurance is done. Um, now the hospital will, will now, um, look at how the claim, you know, what prices were, were used, you know, there's a 50% discount. Um, so the hospital will, will end up having to build a student 20% uh, co-insurance uh, plus that deductible. Um, the deductible is, is one time per year, but still you gotta pay it if this is your first visit. So in this case, 20% um, um, of, of the 350, um, plus the one, which is I think $60, plus the 150, 210. So the student is gonna get uh, billed $210 for this, okay? Um, the, um, the deductible is, is a big part of it. Um, in your second visit to a doctor's off office in that school year, you're not gonna have to pay that deductible again, but you would do the first time. Um, so here's the Jade plan. Uh, the Jade plan, again, it's a thousand dollar bill. It, it, it gets marked down to 500. Uh, the deductible is $90. So the, the bill is now 410. Uh, the coinsurance um, is 80% also with the Jade plan. Um, so the insurance is paying $328 for this procedure. Um, and the student is gonna get a bill 20% plus the, the $90 deductible, it's 172. Uh, again, this is uh, the first time you're using the plan during the school year. So, so the deductible applies, but it wouldn't always apply. So that's the GA plan. Um, you'd be paying 172 in this case. Uh, the presidential plan is our, um, it's our VIP plan. It's, there's basically, it's 100% uh, co-insurance paid by the insurance and there's zero deductible. So you, you end up paying nothing. Um, so anyways, uh, presidential plan is, is certainly, um, well, it's our, it's our VIP or some people call them Cadillac plans. Um, so uh, billing claims, I, I, hope, I hope those samples, those, those examples uh, um, or those, those sample claims uh, help because it is, it is complicated. There, there's no question about it. Um, okay, so here's uh, just a quick review of some of the plan highlights. 
Um, so these are ordered um, according to actually the premium. Uh, Jade is our lowest priced plan. Uh, presidential is, is the highest price plan. Um, so it's it's not always so it's not always incremental. So you know the Ruby plan is unlimited, I, um, but uh, it's it's a little cheaper than the Gold Plus plan. Um, well, actually, the four hundred dollar deductible option is cheaper. The ninety dollar deductible option is not cheaper. So it's it's hard. It's not that easy to compare. But um, I've never seen a, a claim go over five hundred thousand dollars. So um, this isn't anything really to worry about. Uh, the deductible, though, is something to consider. Um, the Ruby and the Platinum plan have have options, $400 or $90 deductible. Again, this is uh, per year or, or per person per year. You just pay this once. And that's on the Ruby. And then Platinum, you can choose $500 or $100. Um, so, I mean, based on the claim, uh, the sample claims I showed you earlier, you know, the, the deductible is, is something to consider. Uh, Pre-existing conditions are if you have some health problem from before the plan starts, uh, are, are they covered? So um, with the Jade plan, there is a pre-existing waiting period. It's six months. Uh, so you can't get anything, any previous health problems covered for the first six months. With all the other plans, there's no pre-existing condition uh, waiting period. Um, and then the co-insurance is 80% 80, 80 for all the plans except for presidential, which is 100%. I don't know if, let me just, I think on the recording, let me just move this out of the way if I can. Oh, I can't. Um, anyways, um, so that's uh, the, the plan highlights. There's there's a lot of details. Uh, if you have questions, then, then please uh, send them our way. Um, so here is the network, uh, the healthcare, the, the, the network, per, it's called this, uh, the provider network. Uh, United Healthcare is what we're using. Um, I think, uh, yeah, and and it's it's strong uh, network. It's I think it's the 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 biggest or the most comprehensive in in the nation. Um, so, anyways, you you click that um, that link for in your account. It's we we call it find a doctor, but um, you can find it on the uh, on our on our homepage and also on the uh, MTU uh, landing page. So this is where you land. Um, when you're looking for uh, in-network providers. Um, I, and I just did, I mean, there's so many different types of searches you can do. I just did two, I just did hospitals. Uh, as I understand uh, the, the top one here is, is not the main hospital, uh, the Portage Health Hospital uh, across the bridge, as I learned, um, is, uh, is in-network and, uh, and that's the place to go if you have, uh, if you have an emergency. Um, and uh, the second search I did was just, I just did primary care. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me, let me try to move this. Hmm. Well, uh, on the recording, you might not be able to see it, but um, there's, I think 75 doctors, um, primary care doctors, not, not, uh, not, not specialists, just primary care. Um, in the uh, in this zip code uh, within 20 miles, so there's quite a lot of uh, choice when it comes to doctors. Um, although uh, on this example, you can see the second one is a specialist. Um, but anyways, there's lots of doctors that are that are in the network. Um, I mean, pretty much most United and mo most uh, healthcare providers in the U.S. are going to take United Healthcare because it's, it's good for business. It's it's a very uh, strong network, uh, very popular. A lot of, a lot of um, companies use it. So, um, here is uh, the the FAQ. So I got some uh, some frequently asked questions or common questions uh, before the, the this presentation, and so these are just some of them. Uh, is is there dependent coverage? So spouse and children. Uh, the answer is yes. Um, on the second, if you uh, click uh, enroll now, so on the landing page, there's a big red button, enroll now. And um, on that next page at the bottom of the left, there's an option to uh, add dependents, uh, spouse or children, and it'll show you the rates. Um, the rates are quite a lot for a spouse. Uh, so I'll just warn you about that. I mean, uh, quite often it's uh, like five times the price. 
children maybe uh, 1.5 times uh, the, the, the price for, for the student. So uh, the children premium is not, not so much, um, the spouse premiums are. Uh, a wellness check. So um, there's different names for this. Some people call it an annual checkup, um, but in, um, in the language of, of healthcare in the US, it's, it's now called a wellness check. Um, so that's what you, if you want to have an annual checkup, when you call like the doctor's office, you want to say wellness check. Okay. Uh, and I was asked, what, what do you get in the wellness check? Well, the wellness check is actually kind of governed now by the, uh, by the uh, Center for Disease Control or the, the, well, the Affordable Care Act uh, from about six, seven years ago, it laid out what needs to be covered. Um, so there's, I mean, they, they will do, they will draw your blood and they will do various tests. If there's a certain test that um, your doctor thinks you need based on sort of the, your, your doctor's visit, they will get that done. Um, but you can request things, you know, if you talk to your doctor and you can, and there's a test you think you want to get, you can request that and, uh, and it, it'll be covered. Uh, I mean, it, I'm, I'm trying to think if all the tests that you request would be covered. If the doctor doesn't think it's necessary, then it, it's not, it won't be covered. Um, so you got to get the doctor and sort of to sign off on that. Um, now I will say that, you know, all our plans have this wellness check. This is an annual checkup um, where nothing is wrong. You just make an appointment and say, Hey doc, how, how, how am I, how's my health? Uh, well, the J plan does not have this, uh, it's not included. So just a heads up there. Um, I mean, personally, when I was in college, I don't think I ever went for, um, for an annual checkup. Um, but, uh, anyway, so the J plan does not cover it. Uh, after graduation, we have the Explorer plan. The Explorer plan, um, is, uh, you can get it month to month. Uh, you can get it uh, while you're waiting for like your uh, your uh, employment uh, uh, authorization uh, document. Um, you can, um, yeah, it's very flexible. And um, if you, to, to get it, like you will, one of the first questions we ask when you enroll is what's your status? So if you, if you do OPT, um, if, if that's your status, um, then you will see the Explorer plan. Um, the explore, but I, I will say also that uh, that our student plans um, they are it is possible to to get coverage in, in those plans while you're on OPT. Uh, but our system we navigate people towards the Explorer plan. So if you do want the student plan and you're you're on OPT, you might have to contact us to to help you uh, get that. Um, so. Anyways, the Explorer plan is is our is our go to plan for for people who who graduate. Um, it's also uh, if you ever do uh, you know H H one B, it's also H one B is is um, they enroll on that plan too. Um, okay, coverage outside of Michigan. So all our plans have uh, equally good coverage in all fifty states. Um, as I said previously, United Healthcare, the network is, is uh, the biggest in the US. It's well respected and, and most healthcare providers are signed on with, with them. Um, also though, you have coverage in, uh, in Canada or Mexico. Uh, you have coverage worldwide except for your home country. So um, that's uh, nice to hear. Um, but um, yeah, so in your home country, you can't use these plans. But um, if you go for a weekend up to Canada or you go for spring break down in Mexico, let's say, uh, you have coverage there too. Uh, the claims is, might be, uh, is not gonna be as smooth. Uh, in fact, it, it could be an out-of-pocket situation then you get reimbursed uh, you know, after you get back. Um, so, cause United Healthcare, the network doesn't really exist in Canada or uh, Mexico or whatever. Countries. Okay. Um, so that's the first list of FAQs. I got one more here. Um, auto coverage. Actually, yeah, this was from before, but uh, our plans, um, they are secondary for auto coverage. Um, so that means that they will, they will come in and pay for claims after the car insurance is paid first. Um, so I, I, think, I think a lot of health insurance is that way. So, but I, we get questions about this because I think a lot of um, 
car insurance uh, uh, companies who are giving quotes will say, oh, does your health insurance cover car and car accidents? Um, I mean, uh, car accidents and, and um, injuries uh, resulting from car accidents, they are not excluded. So th there is coverage for them. Um, but like I said, um, they, they are what's called secondary insurance um, for, for that kind of uh, treatment. Chiropractic and physical therapy. Uh, yeah, every, all our plans cover these. Um, you, I mean, you're gonna pay a copay uh, on the day of your visit, but they're, they're handled like, uh, like any, uh, like any uh, doctor's visit. Um, one point that I'll, I'll make, uh, if you look at the policy brochures, they're very comprehensive. Um, and if it, basically they're comprehensive because uh, they're trying to, it's a legal document and they wanna make sure that they're, they're covering as much as they can. But if there's nothing, if, if, they're, if you're looking for a specific benefit and it's not mentioned in the, in the plan, then by default, it's covered. So in fact, that's why the policy brochures are so long because they're trying to, to get deep, they're, kind of, they're trying to detail things that are not covered because the rule is if, if there's nothing about it in the policy brochure, then it's covered. Um, it's just assumed to be covered. So um, anyways, uh, like I don't, I don't know if there's any mention of, of chiropractic uh, pra practice, practice in, in, our, uh, in our healthcare plans and and because of that it's just treated as just covered um so anyway so that's something to consider if you're looking for a specific benefit in the policy brochure and you don't see it then it's it's covered and unless it's excluded somewhere um and you and you will see health insurance plans have a long list of exclusions um and that's because like i said if it's not excluded then it's included um i don't know if i if i made that more complicated than it needed to be but Anyways, uh, the third bullet here is recreational activity. So yeah, sports and everything is covered. Uh, hazardous sports are, are not in included. Hazardous sports are like bungee jumping, parasailing, uh, off-piste uh, skiing. Um, so if you want to go and do some hazardous sport, um, you, you can go online and you can get coverage for like the weekend. Um, and it'll cost you something like... Uh, um, it'll be like $35 for the weekend or something. And it'll cover you for accidents when you're doing that hazardous sport. Uh, there's more information on in the policy brochures about this. Um, when it comes to recreational activity, uh, the Jade plan is the only one that has an exclu exclusion for intramural and uh, club sports. Um, but I have never seen, I, I've never seen um, any of our customers have trouble with this because if you ever go to the doctor with an injury from like, uh, let's say you're playing cricket, right? Or you're playing soccer. The doctor is never asked, were you playing a club sport or an intramural sport? They just, you just say, how did this happen? Oh, I was playing cricket or I was playing soccer. Anyways, um, I don't want to go into length about that, but this exclusion has never been an issue. Um, but the J plan does have an exclusion for club or, or intramural sports. Uh, and, and once again, the exclusion doesn't, it's not applicable because on the doctor's notes, it doesn't say if, if you were doing an intramural sport or a close sport. Um, okay, so I have, oh, so that's FAQ. That should be FAQ two there. So here, these are the two FAQs. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically the, the presentation. Um, the, I, I think I mentioned previously that there we're probably not going to have any q a let me check the the chat box to see if there's anything out there um i do have a couple of questions oh okay so we do have some questions that's good to hear um so yeah do you want to do you want to put them in a chat or you want to just uh, share them you know uh, speaking i can i can read them so that it's uh, recorded and later people can okay read. yeah so um the first is is prenatal care covered what healthcare? Prenatal. That is uh, oh, pregnancy. Yeah. Like having a baby and everything? Or mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, none of our plans have exclusions for maternity. Uh, okay. Often it's called, well, maybe the, uh, in the brochures, it's often called uh, maternity. 
but um, you there is um, the Jade plan does have that six month uh, waiting period. So if um, if the mother is got pregnant before the plan started, uh, there's that six month waiting period. But um, otherwise, no, there's no exclusions for, for prenatal care or maternity care. Okay. Um, the second question is, are the visits to the specialist covered and do they have to have, uh, do they have to be referred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so no, there's no referral necessary. You don't have to see a primary care uh, physician first, which is great. Uh, there are some health insurance uh, uh, um, styles in the US where you have to, you always have to see your primary care first, but that's not the case. Uh, you can go straight onto the network. You can look for your specialist um, because you know what the problem is. And uh, yeah, it's it's covered and you you, uh, you do not need a referral. Okay. Um, next is, what is the process of changing name, physical address on the insurance plan? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Um, in, the, in the account, there's, uh, there's a tab um, called account settings. And so uh, students can go in there and, and change their information. Uh, if you're changing name or date of birth, we're going to ask for um, proof because it's, you know, we have to change the, the documents. These are legal documents. You know, once you're, once you pay your premium, this is an insurance policy. Um, so you can't just change your name or your date of birth without a little bit of follow-up. But otherwise, address, you know, phone number, email, you can do that all uh, in the account settings. So this is mostly the, the name part and address part mostly comes in addresses if someone is uh, relocating somewhere. The um, name part is sometimes there is a typo in the name. So I guess that's pretty straightforward. Uh, if they show a document, then, then you can update that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the next question is, so if someone purchases the over, over, over the counter medicines for mm -hmm. something very basic, like a mild headache or a wound, yeah, would that be covered? Would that cost be covered under insurance? Uh, no, uh, over the counter medicine is not covered by insurance. You need a prescription. Okay. Uh, and yeah. the last one, that, that's, have... that, by the way, that's standard in the U S. Um, mm -hmm. so it's, uh. Yeah, it's it's over the counter medicine is is not covered by by uh, insurance. And the last one is, uh, will the HPV vaccine be covered? Uh, yes. So all of our plans, um, except for the Jade, the Jade does not have uh, it does not cover the H HPV, um, but all the other plans do cover HPV. So the, the Jade is our sort of economy plan and HPV is not covered. Um, I mean, the HPV vaccine, I mean, if it's out of pocket, it's, it can cost, I think, uh, several hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, HPV uh, is, is covered on all our plans except for Jade. Good question. Um, and does that mean Jade does not cover any kind of vaccines or... Is it just, yeah, is that that's a, is right. So, okay. so there is a benefit, it's called prevent, preventive care. And preventive care is um, that wellness check that I uh, talked about for uh, a little bit. And it's immunizations. Uh, yeah, so that's, those are the two main things in a prevent, preventative care or preventive care. You, you'll hear people say both preventative or preventive. Yeah, Jay does not cover preventive care. All right, that's pretty much what I had. So thank you so much for your presentation. And um, yeah, um, if if you have anything else that you want to share quickly. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I put it anywhere on my slides, but my email is, is chris at psiservice.com. Uh, it's chris, C-H-R-I-S, like Christmas. Um, at our website. So it's kind of, I think it's fairly easy to remember, chris at psiservice.com. Um, or we do have very robust customer service. Um, it's, it's nine to six on the phones, um, 
but uh, you can email, of course, and um, um, and it, it, the the claims customer service. So our claims department, they are twenty four seven actually. So if you're trying to follow up on a claim and wondering why something's not getting paid, you can call them anytime. Um, PSI, you know, we do the enrollment and we do, um, um, you know, we have the website and everything. Our customer service uh, phone hours are uh, nine, I think it's nine, 9 a.m. to seven right now, um, Monday, Monday to Friday, so not on the weekend. Anyways, you, you can reach us uh, fairly easily if you have more questions. If you want to direct it to me, it's uh, chris at psiservice.com. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it for me. Uh, I appreciate uh, you know uh, MTU uh, student interest in PSI. We we do have uh, we do have several hundred students at, at MTU uh, using our plan. So uh, you know my uh, my job is to support them and and uh, and, and potentially um, grow that number <laughs> in the future. So, anyways. Uh, Thanks again for, for sort of listening to us and, and, and uh, choosing PSI uh, to, to help you with your health insurance needs. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah.